For the Renegade Road, we're going to be using two bells. I strongly prefer going a little bit heavier on these just because the actual width of the base of the bell. If you try to do this with too small of a bell, you're not going to be very stable on the bottom. You know, and with your row, it's basically going to be your bent over row and your crock row position, so you can go heavier with it safely. So like I said, if you've got the bigger bells, you know, they're a little bit harder to turn over, but if you have like some small 15s, it's going to be pretty easy to topple over. You don't want that. You want to be very stable while you're going through the row. So I'm going to start out with the bells kind of on a 45 degree tilt. As you can see, they're not straight ahead, they're not crossed. I have them a little angled. From here, I'm going to get my plank position. Feet wide. As your core becomes stronger, you can start working your feet in a little bit closer. I'm going to start out wide. From here, I'm going to base on one belt, and I'm going to row with the other. Here. Here. Push up. Right back up top. Row. Row. Push up. And that's the renegade row.